and here we are to reveal the wonderful rewards you can obtain by purchasing the luxurious edition for just an additional 13 euros and 99 cents. You'll get the Nightmare Cage, an absolutely amazing backpack, a stunning luminous sunflower to beautify your bases, even the most high-tech ones, a beautiful avatar frame with roses, the name card, and the theme, Nighttime Rose, which are all incredibly beautiful. Now let's check out how the case looks in-game, and I must say, it's quite impressive. Let's also take a look at the luminous sunflower, which moves as it seeks the sun. Finally, we'll go over the themes and the avatar frame tell me they aren't breathtakingly beautiful and unique. I really love this style, and we also have the avatar to add to it, which is gorgeous too. Now let's take a look at some of the rewards available for purchase in the Battle Pass shop, which you can exchange using the keys earned throughout the Season Pass. Once you've collected enough keys, you can add all these amazing rewards to your collection. And as you can see, there are plenty of them. So, if you're wondering whether the Battle Pass is worth the purchase, the answer is definitely yes. Now let's get back to our walkthrough. We left off after talking with Mary, so let's go meet her where she indicated. Let's find out what awaits us. This place here is so hard to find. Excellent. You made it. Now that you're here, we can try and get in. What's inside? I don't know, but there's only one way to find out. And here is the first page of our field guide, titled Monitoring Station. And here's another one titled Live Longer. We also have a cardboard box inside this crate. This place looks interesting. Fascinating. Looks like a Mayfly command post, if I were to guess. Has it been used in a long time? Well, that isn't a good sound. Guess you weren't the only one curious about this place. They must have noticed our arrival. You'll need to hold them off while I try and access the computer system. See what I can find. Well, if they've come to us, let's give them a warm welcome. If you do as I do, you'll be able to collect all the materials twice. To do this, gather everything first, and then you'll be able to retrieve it again. Very useful if you're short on materials. In the crate I had opened earlier, I found either a cardboard box or an air conditioner. This box is very useful. I'm back. I took care of the threat. What did you find? The Mayflies gathered here about a year ago. This is where they planned for their final mission. So what's this final mission? They tried to raid a Rosetta base. Then things went south fast. And they were nearly wiped out. But why take such a huge gamble and put everything on the line? There has to be a good reason. All right, here we have the investigation report, which I'll read to you later. But now let's talk to Mary. I think I know what happened. All right, the report says, the preliminary investigation reveals that the unnamed complex belongs to Rosetta and features an unprecedented security level. The interior details remain unknown at this time, given the mission's top priority, implementing an infiltration operation to determine a course of action, and the deployment of sufficient special forces for a raid is recommended. 
The detailed findings of this investigation will be presented at the upcoming mission briefing. As always, we strayed a bit from the mission to complete this set of cases, hoping to find something. We have another air conditioner. Today, I'm making a collection. I also reached level 28. I'm very happy because I'm leveling up very quickly now. And here on this shed, we can find another page of the field guide titled Hope in time. I would say it's time to head back to our house, which isn't too far from us, to continue our mission afterward. We've stocked up on primary materials, and we also have a turtle that wanted to be killed at all costs. After this hard work with the pickaxe, I'd say we should take a nice bath in this beautiful river and head to the other shore. This area, even though it's very close to where I live, I had never explored before. I'd say we should take a moment to see if there's anything interesting. We also have a page called Pyrrhic Victory. We've almost explored everything. Nothing special, but that's all right. You can't always find something. Here in this chest, we have a mod called Weak Spot Damage Boost. How nice it is to kill this monster so safely and without any problems. is really very large. It could almost be a city. And here's my usual death because I don't want to heal. Last house, and we've finished the tour. Here we have a nice weapon chest with a critical boost mod inside. Here we have a nice weapon chest with a critical boost mod inside. Oh no, I also missed this house, in fact. Okay, let's head back home.
Here we are. Now that I've organized the inventory, let's go use some points at the wish machine. Guys, we hit the jackpot with this wishing machine. Look at this loot, especially the renegade shoes and the hot dog shorts. Okay, now let's start crafting the new armor I found and see if we can become a bit stronger. Okay, now that we've equipped everything, I'd say we've raised our levels a bit. Now we're going to create portable diving gear that will allow us to increase our oxygen and speed while we're underwater. Let's also repair our motorcycle so we're ready and sure it can handle my adventures. Since we finally have the parts to build the intermediate gear workbench, I'd say it's time to replace the old gear workbench. And now into the water, we need to set off to continue our adventure since we have new gear and we should be much stronger now. to stop here thinking I could attack, but I have to do it with the hand. Too bad. Let's move on then. Here I could have attacked if I had more steroids sooner or later. We'll participate, no worries. Okay, nothing interesting in these houses. Wow, there are a lot of big guys here. It's going to be tough. Let's take them out one by one. 
those bastards deal some serious damage too. Wow, these guys are tough to take down. Luckily, I have some ammo. Just imagine if I hadn't had any. And this big one is also dying. How many people were in this farm? Look, there's a buzzy bee. I love these hardworking field bees. Perfect. Let's catch up. In this small crate, we found a newspaper pile. Great for our desk. And ooh, down here we have a nice vine. Wow, but there are so many soldiers here too. It's worse than the bases I've already faced, and there's not even that much loot. Well, we gained a lot of XP here, and we made quite a massacre, too. Let's go to activate this teleporter. Now let's start exploring this city slowly and patiently. And level 29 has been reached. I told you I gained a lot of XP earlier. In this crate, we also have a mod with flame resonance. Lots of little houses, but nothing special. However, we're gathering some nice materials. Okay, we're getting closer to the mission area, which is located in that hospital. Hello? Hello? Why isn't anyone here to meet me? Hello? Is anyone there? Why would Dad tell me to go to the hospital if there's no one here? I'm so tired. Tired of the pain. Here we also found Dad's shelter, a page from the field guide. entire 
place. Uh, but Glenn said this is where to look. That, that he saw it in his dream. Yeah, and we believe them. Glenn has never gotten anything right in his entire life. Where the hell is he anyway? God damn it! He, he was right here! Here we also have the page Ruin Hospital, which is fitting for this place. In this mystical crate, you can get 15 blueprints for BBQ gloves. Okay, before going down to the parking lot to continue the mission, I left behind a lot of crates, so let's go retrieve everything I miss. Here you'll find the Black Bell Extraction Permit, too, and we also discover this nice bow tier 3. Okay, let's find the entrance again. Oh, here it is. Let's go. Strange. The concentration of Stardust here is extremely high. And yet... There is almost no sign of an energy reaction. Mm, Dr. Marshall warned us that reaction activity might drop to low levels this close to the monolith's sphere of influence. Mm, by the way, stabilization anchors are locked in position. Who's Dr. Marshall? What do you mean, who's Dr. Marshall? The director of our research lab? You okay, Sandra? I don't know who you're talking about. I, I can't place them. Oh, shit. I think we need to get away from this place. And we've also found the page, Who Are You? Do you see that sea spider climbed up the water spout? Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And do you See the sea spider climbed up the spout again. There you go, honey. Go sleep now. Well, of course, a boss, and it's a female shadow spider boss, no less. È stato piuttosto semplice, non me lo aspettavo. Let's follow this nice path and there's a mystical crate. And here we find a beautiful neon formula shaped like a smile. But that's it for today's video. See you in the next one with some news about the upcoming new scenario. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe, leave a like or comment, and remember to hit the bell icon for notifications on my videos.